my name's John, welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. And tonight's nightcap as usual, I've got quite a lot of machining going on. I really wanted to cast another, another one of these hand wheels and machine that to finish the video series off. But I never actually got round to it, I'll try and get that done next week. I did finish off the live centre for my friend, um, cleaned it up, put it back together, did some machining on a new, a new bush for that, he's happy with that. I've got a couple of these Ford Focus uh, front hubs. There's a friend of mine building a rally car and I modified the shock absorber mounting on there. I bought the hood bigger and offset it to give it a little bit more negative camber. I showed quite a lot of that. I went to a vintage rally yesterday uh, with my friend Mick. Uh, it's really cool. The winter's starting to, starting to come now. It was windy and cool and horrible. But I did get some decent video. I'll probably put a video up, possibly after a few nightcaps, showing what was there. When I was there, I did pick up a couple of brooches. One's 4 mil and one's 5 sixteenths. I really don't need a quarter inch brooch, so if anybody's got a quarter inch brooch they want to sell or trade for something, give us a shout and we'll be able to sort something out. That's 5 sixteenths. That one's 4 mil, absolutely brand new. Got an update on Debs. Debs is doing okay. She's basically just the same. She's now changed. Um, no more sort of improvement in her fitness until she finishes this course of drugs, which is going to be uh, as another four or five injections every three weeks. So it's going to be well into the next year before she gets herself back to some sort of normality. But she is just doing okay. You know, she's. Um, I've had a word with a lot of the runs at centre, and we'll decide just to leave that bearing alone. The bearing actually feels quite nice and it's a fortune to replace. Now in the end of here, I thought that was a brass bush, but it's not. It appears to be a, a roller bearing. And I'm starting to take that out because obviously that's there's a lot of wear on that. A lot of wear. So I'll take that bearing out of there and see what sort of condition it is in. These have been invaluable, these aluminium jaws. Cheers to the rule of our That's a bearing there, as you can see the rollers are flat. That's the mood for a long time. It's a slack fit on there, might as well not be there. There's quite a bit of wear on the back end of this near centre, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to polish this and I'll make a bronze bush for it. I've had a look at the bearing numbers, I can't actually read the number off the bearing, but even if I get a bearing, the damage on here, it's, uh, it, would need, it would mean this being welded up again and remachined. I think a bronze bush in the back of there will do the job perfectly adequately. This end of it feels hard, that's probably why it's destroyed the bearing and hardly marked the shaft. Now 
bit of tool or a bush to fit that and fit in the housing. Right, I've got a bit of aluminium bronze bar in the lathe. Unfortunately, it's a bit too big a diameter. The only bit I've got, I'm going to make a brass bush. Yeah, that fever is down a little bit. So I still need so two three, so I've two fell over, two fell over size. One more cut on the same setting. Blob on, one, two, one. Burning out of size now. I'm going to take one more cut on the same setting. I don't want a little bit of clearance on this. Okay, that's just nice. What I want to do, or what I'm going to do, I want to put the tool in at the bottom of the, the hole, slow the lid down. I'm going to put a cut on, maybe a, probably a 20 thou cut, and I'm going to wind the tool back out by hand just so it cuts the spiral groove in there to hold the grease. Right, so we've got the lid running slow. Put a cut on. Cut. And I'm basically going to wind the tool out by hand quite quickly. Right, all that's done is put a very coarse thread in there just to hold the grease. I'll do it again 
in a different place this time. So it's only a support burner, isn't it? Isn't a great little load on it. Right. Basically, we've got a bastardized double start fed in there that'll be ideal for holding grease. There, we'll part it off the lens. Just the end of the bush off and put a nice shank on it. On the menu tonight, I've got fish yet again. But this time it's a special sort of fish. The fish is actually called red snapper. I've got two nice fillets there and I'm going to steam them in the oven. First thing we need is some aluminium cooking foil. fish on here, skin side down, a bit of salt and pepper, and we need some butter, plenty of butter. We need to make a little parcel up. Make it a bit like a pasty. So there's room in the top for the, the fish to steam. This will go into a hot oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just cook a few blackberry crumbles off when we're waiting for the oven to warm up. This one's actually blackberry and gooseberry crumble. already know.
in these boiled potatoes. Nice. Really nice. Mm -hmm. We're up in the middle with a head, Mr. Bonifan, the shot up the shot up there. Your bell end. <laughs> 